Hello everyone. Today we are going to start the new series that is about the power electronics. As you know, power electronics is a very vast subject. So let us start from the basics that is the switching devices. I have in my hand the switch that is called the SCR. As SCR is a power electronics switch. We are going to see the VI characteristics of this SCR or you can see the working principle of this SCR. You can see this is the SCR. It has three legs. You can say anode, cathode and the gate terminal. On the left side, you can say this, uh, this is called the cathode. In the middle, that is the anode. And on the right side, this is the gate terminal. So we are going to assemble this SCR and we are going to see the VI characteristics. Also, or you can see the switching characteristics of this SCR. Its current rating is uh, 12 ampere, 600 volts. And its gate current is, that is uh, 6 uh, milliampere. So I will put this, this SCR in the breadboard. We have the three terminals here. The first one is the cathode, then we have the anode, then we have the gate current. So let us give the supply, DC supply, also connect the emitters, gate current from this function generator. Let us start the experiment. As you can see, we have the SCR here. We have three terminals in the SCR, the anode, cathode and the gate terminal. On the right side, we have the cathode. On the left side, we have the gate terminal and in the middle, we have the anode terminal. The rating of the SCR is 12 ampere, 600 volts. So I will connect the anode terminal first. We have the DC supply here, you can see the positive and the negative. So as you know, the positive will go to the anode. I will connect the positive through this emitter as I have connected one terminal of this to this emitter and another terminal will go to the anode. As you know, anode in the middle middle of this. So I will connect the anode. Then what we will do, we will connect the cathode. As you know, we have to connect the load. So we have the load here that is 100 ohm resistor. I will connect it here on the breadboard. So I have connected the resistor. So one terminal of DC supply, that is a negative terminal, will go to the low terminal. The another terminal will go to the cathode. So I will connect the another terminal of the load, or you can see the resistor. The another terminal of the load, or you can see the resistor, will go to the cathode. So cathode, you know, is on the right side, so it will go here. So as you know, I have already connected the emitter. So this will measure anode current, this emitter gate terminal is remaining here so what we will do we will give the gate pulse from this function generator as i have already connected the probe to the function generator so i will connect the positive of this uh, function generator that is here i will connect the positive of this function generator to the uh, to the gate terminal you see here now th what i will do i will connect the negative of this through the emitter so because i have to measure the i have to measure the gate current so I have connected the negative to this uh, emitter and the another terminal, I will connect it on the cathode. Now the negative of the emitter will go to the cathode. As you know, cathode is on the right side, so it will go to the cathode. Now if we have to measure the voltage between the anode and the cathode. So we have the voltmeter here. I will connect the positive to the anode and the negative will go to the cathode. This is the positive terminal and it will go to the anode. As you know, anode is on the middle and the cathode is on the right side. So negative will go to the cathode that is here. So this is the total circuitry of this SCR. As you can see, this is the emitter and this can measure the anode current. This emitter can measure the gate current and this voltmeter can, can measure the voltage between the anode and the uh, cathode. Uh, this is the DC supply, this is the function generator from which we are going to give the gate pulse and this is the mm, DSO on which we can see the we can see the waveform of the function generator. So let us start this experiment by giving the voltage between the anode and the cathode. Right now we will give the uh, only the voltage between the anode and the cathode. We will, we, will, we will not give the gate pulse and we will see what will happen. As I will increase the voltage, you will see on the voltmeter how the voltage will. I will give almost 5 volts, you can see. You, you are seeing that there is no deflection on this uh, emitter and also on the gate uh, emitter. So uh, right now we can see the voltage between the anode and the cathode that is, uh, that is almost 5 volts. So what we are going to do, uh, this SCR is uh, right now in the blocking mode. You can say this is on the blocking mode. So to turn this on, either we have to increase the voltage, uh, it can, but that is not a proper method. So what we will do, we'll, we are going to give the gate pulse so that this SCR will go into the conduction mode. So I will increase the gate current so that this SCR will turn on. You can see I, I will increase the uh, gate current. I will increase the gate current. You will see this will go into turn on mode. Conduction mode. 
Yeah, this is in the connection. So this is the gate current. Uh, you can see the, this is the anode current, and you can see the voltage. The voltage is dropped. So right now this uh, SCR in the conduction mode. So you can uh, draw the IV correction between the voltage and the current. What else you can see here? You can see if I will now decrease the gate current, the SCR will be in, in the conduction mode. This is why the SCR is called uh, the semi-control device. Uh, we can turn it on, but we cannot turn it off. So what I will do? I will reduce the gate current. Even by reducing the gate current, we are not able to turn the device off. This device can be turned on, but cannot be turned off. So this is why this is called the this is called the semi-control device. We can turn this off by the commutation methods like force commutation, RC commutation. Uh, there are different methods. We will not discuss that here. So once the SCR starts conducting, the SCR remains in its own state even after removing of the gate cur current. Now, if the gate current is further increased, the device can be turned on even uh, at the much lesser forward anode, anode to cathode. Now, I am going to increase the voltage across the anode and the cathode. As I am uh, increase the voltage across the anode and the cathode, the anode current will also increase. But due to this, the load current will also increase. As my load that here is resistor is uh, it is voltage is very low. As you can see, it will burn out. It is voltage is about 0.25. It cannot bear because the current has gone has exceeded 0.25 watts. So this resistor has got burned down. So this is why rating is very important. As you have seen, the rating of this device has got exceeded. So this has burned down. So this is uh, you have to keep in your mind what is the rating of the equipment. Thank you very much.